Hi everyone, it's B here at Little Miss B Crafts. I hope you're all well and having a good week. Um, today, um, I'm going to try and do something different because um, normally um, I have a go at making things before I actually come and do the videos and I thought today, no, I'm going to do just... I've had an idea for... Um, I want to make another... We went to New Zealand as well, hence the paper. <laughs> um, and I wanted to make... Um, like a, a journal for the things that we did like um in New Zealand like I did for the for the Australia ones because I want to put our memories down we go on loads of holidays and you know the photos are there and they're on the camera or they're on Facebook or wherever and you just think you know I want to start putting them down so that we can look back and think oh yeah we did that look we did that and you know they're a nice keepsake aren't they journals so yeah so while I was away I thought um, I was looking around and I thought I wanted to get things that would remind us and I found this lovely gorgeous shop in New Zealand because we, we went to New Zealand as well as Australia and it was called um, it was in a place called Devonport well we, we stayed in Auckland and you could get the ferry to Devonport which was a gorgeous little um, coastal town village um, and this shop was called La Chaussette um, and it was it was it's a petite French boutique but it had you know one of those shops that you go in and I could have spent all day in there because it just had so many lovely different little knickknacks and things anyway I got this paper this wrapping paper um, and when I saw it I just fell in love with it and I thought yes that is what I've got to get when I get home and I'm sorry you can't see all of it but it's just wrapping paper and you know it, it just goes to show that you don't have to just buy you know I hope it, it seems to be going in and out of thing I'm sorry if it keeps on focusing my camera Um, it just goes to show that you don't need you know paper pads or whatever look around you and try and find things so you know I'm sure that there's lots of places if you go on holiday that will do wrapping paper or and I just happened to be so lucky to get to get this and it look it is it's massive and I just thought it lends itself to a journal it's like got tags um, and it was it it is basically just and it's got Auckland on it so that's brilliant and it's just all to do with New Zealand um, and it's a vintage kind of feel to it and I loved it um, I'm sorry you can't I'm trying to make sure that you can get all of it in um, so yeah so I've been looking at it and what I've decided to do is I'm going to cut this bit here seemed to be the best one to try and get um, you know a book cover out of and um, a travel journal or whatever out of so I'm going to cut that bit there okay so that, that's going to be my front cover and then the bag that this lady shop that she she brought it she gave me um, was this isn't this just gorgeous even when she was wrapping it up and giving me the bag I was like oh, wow look at that I mean that I mean all I bought was two rolls of, of wrapping paper and she put it in this gorgeous bag with this tag on um, and I, I was just so excited at that you know came out and I said oh, have you seen the bag as well and it's just absolutely gorgeous so it's got all these very like even though it's a French boutique, it's you know it's got memories for us of the shop that we visited and things like that. So I'm going to use that as well. And I've also got some tea dyed paper and um, coffee paper that so I thought that would be quite nice to put inside as well. So it's going to be kind of a, a junk journal, you know, journal kind of thing to sort. So this is my idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and I'm going to cut the paper up, which I'm, I'm just you know it's gonna hurt but I think I'll make something beautiful out of it in the end so I'm going to cut the paper up I'm going to cut everything to size that I think we might need and then I'll come back and show you um, where I'm up to okay so um, I cut the poster up and as you can see there is lots and lots of ephemera here to be able to put in my um, little journal okay so there is a lot there isn't there There's stamps and this, um, lots of lovely pictures and it's just absolutely loads look <laughs> so yeah so and here here as well so there's loads I mean these might be a bit too long and um, I might try and do see what I can do with those but they're quite long so I've just 
um, I decided I was going to use something different for the front cover but then I decided um, I quite liked this one which has actually got New Zealand across it it's like um, a cowboy kind of thing with it and then on the back there's a nice map of um, of New Zealand um, a dairy map so I thought that's quite um, I'll have that for the cover and then um, there was a sign that says Auckland which is where we actually stayed in New Zealand so I'm going to put that down there as well I was going to maybe put it across but then it kind of um, you know distracted from that lovely picture from the mountain so I think I'll just put it down there and I don't think it distracts too much then um, but you can obviously see that we went to Auckland and then I've just gathered up um, lots of different papers that I thought went quite nicely These, this is the um, I think it's well it's Victorian Albert so I think that's trim craft or do crafts one of them um, and it was the 8x8 paper and I would coffee stained this quite a few months ago I have, and I haven't used it yet and I thought well that's that goes quite nicely with the vintage look of, of the poster um, so I quite liked that um, and all I've done is um, I'm going to show you how I made this it's really simple and um, they were 8 by 8 and this cover um, was 4 and 1 8 by 5 and a half um, or 5 and just over 5 and a half so the papers um, so if I just put the 8 by 8 in half and it, it fits quite nicely inside there um, as a signature so I'm going to use that as the as, um, as the front cover for the inside and then I've just cut up the the different papers so I can do some journaling on there um, can put some photos on there um, if we use this pocket so that we can put you know maybe um, some of the ephemera in and uh, write journaling on it um, it's not going to be a big album um, we were there for six days so there's not really a lot you know um, a lot of it's probably a few pictures and things but not a lot um, to actually put in so I think that's quite big enough really um, so yeah so I just wanted to do another another pocket so this is another piece of that gorgeous paper so all I did was just put it in half um, the actual paper in half and it's nice thick paper this it's really nice um, and then I'll get one of the other ones see how big they are so they were, they were kind of all I needed to do just mark and know where to fold okay and then just fold up just fold up where the where you put your line just fold up to there that's nice and straight and then just to reinforce that pocket and I just think that's too big for a, you know it's too big for the pocket really and um, all I did was just then put another little bit of a just kind of put that over like that and again so it's nice and straight about there and then that's your pocket done okay so and I, I will either stick those down or sew them and down I don't know yet Okay, so that's your pocket for there. So again, this is at the minute what I've got. Um, just going to put that one in there, that one in there, and uh, yeah. So that's basically going to be my little journal. But you can see how, and I might even maybe I don't know. I might tea stain that or put some, you know, brown around the edges. Sorry, we're not in shot there. <laughs> um, you know, just to make it a little bit more vintage like the inside. Okay, so that's where um, we're up to. And then the next bit will be trying to fit, <laughs> trying to fit all this in. Um, whether I will or not is another matter, but you know, it, it's there if I need to. Um, okay, so. Thank you, um, and I will be coming back with that little bit soon. Sorry, I forgot to say that I actually cut up, um, just cut up 
to the middle of only a very tiny slither um, up, up to that middle line um, just so that it's not too much bulk um, when you you know go to put the put the book together um, yeah so and then that just as you can see it just kind of gives it a little bit of a neater and so when you actually do the signature you now it's not there's that you know there's not that bulking um, the actual thing so yeah I forgot to do that bit sorry okay so um, I've put the, the book together now and um, sorted the pages out in what order I wanted them um, and put this one in the middle and then what I'm doing now I'm going to bind them I'm going to put them together so that they stay together and um, so I've put two binder clips on either side so that they hold together then I made a little template for myself out of just a strip of paper so that I can put the holes in where they need to go so all I did was measured it to the size of the book and then folded that in half so you get the midpoint and then um, I just used I used a, a needle or a dowel or whatever you want a pokey tool and poked three holes um, one two three so that you can now bind them okay so I'm just using embroidery thread and a big darning needle so I'm going to start off by going um, through the middle and hopefully yep yeah, it will come out the other side <laughs> it's always good good start and then um, through this top one trying to keep that middle one fairly just try and um, see where it's going can see there but um, it's coming through and then just put that one there. Try and get through through the hole that one there. Pull it. Once it goes through it'll be uh, sorry, making a bit of a, a bit of a there we go. Okay. So that's through, so we went through the middle one first, came up this one, and then we're going to pull it fairly tight. You don't want it too tight, but you know, fairly tight. Then what we're going to do is try and get them to be, obviously then we've not got any tension as yet. What we're going to do is going down to this bottom one now. Okay, so. this go through that one first so that we know we've got through there and then through these holes hopefully let's see there we go okay and then that into position now, this middle one, so that we know. Okay, let's pull that tight so everything's nice. And then we're going to come back up through this, this middle one here. Oops. Okay. And then we've got those two. And pull as you know, tight as you can really. Um, not too tight, you don't want you want to be able to open and close it, but you don't want it to be too loose either. Let's cut them cut them off, excess off, and then tie in a knot one way and then tighten the knot the other way. Okay, and then you can either just leave them like that or you can cut them a bit shorter. I'm just going to cut them a little bit shorter. I don't want any kind of 
Okay, so that's our signature done, and then take them off. And I'm, all I need to do now is decorate it. I've got my photos from um, my little sprocket, so they're all ready to stick in. So this is the fun part now. So I'm just going to go and um, maybe sort out and see where I want the photos, where I want embellishments, and then I will come back to you. Okay. So um, I've actually finished my um, little travel journal for New Zealand. So I'm just going to go um, and I'll do a little um, flip through so you can see how it turned out. And I'm really pleased with it. So as you can see, this was the paper that I had that was the um, the big sheet of gift wrap. So um, yep. So it's the beginning, and this was a bigger a bigger piece a bigger quite a big piece and had an angler on it if you look at the video you'll probably see so I just cut it down I thought because that's where we went to Auckland so I love that and New Zealand obviously the, the Kiwi um, I haven't wrote on these um, tags but I just thought I'd put them in they look quite decorative and I've put Auckland again this was Auckland from Devonport the, the, the actual you know this is a skyline of Auckland and there was a rainbow over the top so and I've done a little bit of journaling that was our apartment and again some journaling some a picture out from the gift wrap again and then something a little bit about New Zealand um, again this was um, you know done some journaling photographs that have been taken from um, I hope it's focusing I can't I'm hoping that you can see it properly um, again just our plane tickets a picture from the thing picture on there some more pictures from the gift wrap and um, this was the Maori and um, this was the Naval Mu uh, not the Naval Museum the Auckland War Memorial Museum and it was fantastic we had a great day there and um, it wasn't just a war museum we, had, uh, we watched a Maori show there was all Maori artifacts and, and history about the Maoris and the different and all the Pacific Islands around New Zealand and how it was formed and everything there was also a geological um, not geological well geological and like nature a natural part of the museum as well so it was a fantastic museum we really loved that day this is me and my husband with the the performers who from the maori kind of thing and this was them doing their dance and this was just something out of the um from the gift wrap that i thought looked quite good actually i thought it, it went with the uh, maori theme um just some more of the gift wrap that I haven't used and I just thought it'd be nice to put the pictures there if it'll go, it won't go that way so yeah so just little pockets I actually sewed the pockets in the end so I used my sewing machine and sewed the pockets um yeah uh, this was just one of the pictures and this was like the harb a harbour bit and we were staying on the harbour so I thought that was quite nice and then just a little bit about um the history of uh, the island New Zealand, um, there's a little pocket here as well so I've just put another something there and this was on the gift wrap again um, I haven't put anything in that pocket yet so and some more journaling, I loved this because we went to a place um, that was quite vintage um, like 1920s, it was called Ponsonby Road we had lots of vintage shops there as well so I thought this was quite nice to put on there um, some more pictures this was a beach we went to so there's not that many photographs in here this was one of the lovely beach houses that was near um, this these are some stickers that I got from um, the airport so I have used I've used some of them but I still got some left so I thought I'd put them in there little keepsake um, a beautiful butterfly that we saw some more journaling some more of the pictures um, some more of the pictures from the gift wrap um, yep and just some more that was the picture of the rainbow again at the back so yeah so i hope um i hope i've inspired you to kind of look not just use papers that we have that we buy from you know paper packs to make our memory books and that but you know just to make a little bit of a junk journal i think you might call it um of memories that we've had from our holiday so thank you for watching again today and i hope i've inspired you and um, I hope you have a go. Thanks a lot. Bye.